Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to Attic to Basement Estate Cleanouts. We cleared out over 800 homes in the Washington DC area while I own the company. Here is one of the prettiest ones in Bethesda, Maryland, I think. The home was built in 1953 and about 2,000 square feet. It was priced at over $700,000 in January of 2014 when we started working there. In two days, we sorted through the whole house. Weschlers came to take away what they wanted to sell at auction and trash truck came. Some of the clothing was brought to Chic to Chic consignment in Gaithersburg. The man of the house had a signed photo of President Ford. He also had a burgee from a ship that he commanded when he was in the Navy. The sofa and love seat were a floral pattern on a maroon background and not something that would sell at auction. So it went to wider circle charity along with a small green chair, a coffee table, and linens we bagged up and household items we had boxed up. I love the filigree lamp on the pedestal table, along with some of the dressers and kitchen table. Supposedly, there was china that she bought from the Hillwood Museum when they had an auction, and there were copies of LBJ dishes, too. I don't know if the children sitting in the field portrait are their children or just a piece of art that they bought. It was not a cluttered house, so it didn't take much time to finish. The next house was in Chevy Chase, Maryland, and the couple had lived there 53 years. The daughter hired me at the recommendation of her realtor a few days after her father had died. I met three siblings the day before their father's memorial service took place. It took us four long days to empty this house. The first photo you will see is of a massive white sofa with big armrests. I had never seen rattan bar stools like this house had. The toy box must have been from the 1960s or earlier. Some of their art was very interesting and eclectic, from European buildings to modern art. And there is a portrait of a child with a white head covering. And I don't know if that is one of their family members or just something that caught their eye and they bought it from a gallery. So much of the furniture was out of style so long that it was coming back into popularity, like the brown crushed velvet sofa and the tea cart. The South American cart is colorful, and the stained glass table lamp is not Tiffany, but beautiful. We started work about two weeks after the assessment was done, and on the second day of our work in the house, the National Alliance for the Mentally Ill, or NAMI, came with a truck and helpers to take away some of the furniture for their thrift store. The next day, we worked with New Mind Transfer, who took the items that could be sold to auction. And the final day, my helper met Junk It Dump It, for a trash pickup. There was a Murphy bed in one room. It was the only one I came across over 15 years. I don't remember what happened to it. The final house also was in Chevy Chase, Maryland. It was built in 1928. The woman died at the age of 109 years old. Her husband had died in 1975, and she had taught business classes at Hampton University in Virginia, where she met her husband. They had four sons. An attorney I had previously done a lot of work for called me in to do an assessment so he could report back to the family. 
the house was sold to a developer as it was not in great shape. I was told it would be a while before I could get started working in the house. Once we did start, it took four long days to empty it. The basement mostly had trash or items in it that could be sold to a dealer who painted old chairs and tables and dressers for the shabby chic look. She and her husband bought quite a lot. I, in, on the Facebook page, 800 Houses, 800 pay, Jobs, I included the buyer's worksheets of what she bought and how much she paid in 2014. We did fill one truck with items going to auction. Junk at Dump It took away three truckloads of trash, and my helper and I went with two carloads of items to a nearby charity before we finished, and I dropped the house key off at the attorney's office. Thanks for watching. I'll be back next week with another episode. Thank you.